I just wanted to um, to set up a little video here that's going to be an intro to the tutorial uh, that's going to be a part of this post that's going to walk you through how to create your own professional wedding photography website and it all starts and ties into these two posts I did on my blog uh, recently um, basically just I outline the the seven things here that uh, that you really should have on your on your professional wedding photography website from your visitors perspective and then write another post here uh, things that you should really have from your your uh, your own perspective as a as the owner and the manager of this website so both posts are really important I'm not going to go into detail about what's in there but it's uh, uh, I'll put some links in this video that you'll be able to go check those out uh, and read them over because they are all important. There's everything from, uh, <coughs> excuse me, everything from uh, making sure that you've got a really decent shopping cart and e-commerce solution on your site, uh, fast loading, um, being able to um, have a nice clean site uh, for navigation for your visitors, all that stuff sort of in there. And there's lots of different ways to get uh, to achieve those goals and those uh, uh, those those items that I have in these posts. Uh, but my recommendation is SmugMug, and SmugMug, let me go find it, SmugMug is one of the leading online companies for uh, hosting your photos online. Um, they're a dedicated company to just creating these awesome websites um, for photographers and also for professional photographers who are looking to uh, to uh, have a site that they can use for their business so here's smug mug pro right here so this is what I use and this is what I recommend smug mug pro there's a lot of information here about uh, about smug mug and in particular I want to kind of focus in on customizing a site that looks really good now there's a, a community and a forum that's related to smug mug but it's on a separate site. It's called Digital Grin, dgrin.com. And in dgrin, you can get to go to this gallery that has examples of smug mug sites that have been customized that are just phenomenal. So here's an example of one here. Um, this is all made on the smug mug platform. Uh, here's a one that's uh, geared towards wedding photographers. Here's another one. And on page two of this gallery, surprising or not, is my site that I use for my wedding f photography career. So a lot of people have come, uh, found me through this site and, and other ways and have emailed me over the years to say, uh, how do you get that site? Uh, is SmugMug the way to go or should I go with XYZ? And I don't even know what XYZ is because I've never needed to look at what uh, other competitors to SmugMug because SmugMug takes such good care of me and they're so uh, it's the company that I like to do business with. So. Um, so this is my site. So what I want to do is, it took me well, it took me months to create this site, and I don't want it to take months for you to create your site. It's really, really important for new photographers, especially, but for any wedding photographer, to have a, a really high quality, good looking uh, site for you to be able to market yourself as a wedding photographer, as well as a place for your clients to go grab their online gallery, gr grab their photos make prints, do all of that stuff, share their photos with social media. So SmugMug allows you to do that. Unfortunately, when you first sign up with SmugMug, this is what your site looks like. Now, you won't have empty gallery. You'll have your first gallery will, will, will be loaded in there, and that's easy to do. But your everything else is kind of... It's kind of plain Jane, and SmugMug sets it up that way on purpose because they want you to customize it into something that's your own, that that's that's beautiful. So you know, like I said, all these sites have been made with on the SmugMug platform. It can, it takes a lot of time to be able to create a site like that, or you need to hire um, a professional company, um, hopefully one that SmugMug recommends. Uh, and pay them a lot of money to create these sites. Now that's a good way to go, but when you're first starting, you might not have the cash flow to do that. So I wanna show you around this site that I'm gonna help you create. So here's a portfolio page, beautiful big photos, fast loading site. Uh, these photos expand uh, to whatever browser size that you're looking at or your cusp visitors are looking through. And 
you can purchase photos through Smug Mug, and they have a phenomenal shopping cart. It's one of their best features. So um, I'm going to show you how to set up prices and get this all going, and it's just going to be awesome uh, and I also want to make sure that you've got a place to put your client gallery so you you can point your clients to uh, to their own gallery you can password protect it if you want you can do all these things and your gallery is going to open up and your visitors are going to love absolutely love their photos through smug mug they're going to love that they can buy photos through smug mug and do digital downloads and all that stuff you're going to be uh, loving that feature as well and then, of course, when you want to uh, to get new clients, you're going to need to create a page that's uh, about you and about your services and, and uh, your clients, potential clients' investment in you, contact information, and then testimonials from happy customers. So this, to me, is a very it's a it's a fairly basic site, but it's very clean, and there's no reason why this site can't. Uh, be up and running in a short amount of time with me showing you exactly how to do it and there's no reason why a site like this couldn't get your wedding photography business uh, up and running in the least amount of money in the least amount of time because once this site is up you can get gigs you can point people to it it can totally be functional and work for you and then from here you can customize it and maybe you'll get enough gigs to be able to hire one of those fancy um, fancy designers that can get you a site like this which is obviously a good place to be but it's probably not going to happen right off at the beginning so i hope you enjoy it and we'll see you in the next video